video we are talking about pH and Ka's. So first of all, the pH of a solution is defined this way. It's the negative log base 10 of the concentration of the hydrogen ion. But it ends up that if the concentration of the hydrogen ion is 1 times 10 to some power, it's really easy to say what the pH is. It's just the, the, the magnitude of this number here. It's, it's a negative of it, rather. So if it's 1 times 10 to the minus 8, eighth, excuse me, pH is equal to 8. If it's 1 times 10 to the minus 7, it's 7. Now if it's somewhere between 1 times 10 to the minus 8 and 1 times 10 to the minus 7, let's say 5 times 10 to the minus 7, it's going to have a pH between 7 and 8. If the pH, if, excuse me, if the concentration of hydrogen ion is 1 times 10 to the minus 4th, the pH is 4. Easy as that. The normal pH range that you see in chemistry is between 1 and 14. To give you an idea, um, human blood, its pH should be about 7.4, 7.36 for venous blood, 7.41 for arterial blood. So slightly say that because that's a little bit above 7, 7 is neutral. So because blood, sh you know, to be healthy, blood should be a little bit more than 7, we say it's a, a basic or alkaline um, situation. So when pH is 7, that's a neutral solution. And what that means is there are the same number of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions in that solution. They exactly balance each other out. It's neutral. If it's less than 7, if the pH is lower than 7, what that means is that the solution is acidic, that means that the concentration of hydrogen ion is greater than the concentration of hydroxide ion, and we have an acidic solution. Um, if, it's, if the pH is greater than 7, then it's basic. So for example, if the pH of a solution is 4, that's an acidic solution because it's less than 7. If the pH is equal to 9, it's a basic solution because pH is greater than 9. Now, every weak acid because it's an equilibrium situation, has an equilibrium constant. And we call that, just like we did in the equilibrium stuff, um, we call that constant Ka, A for acid. So for example, hydrofluoric acid ends up as a weak acid, and the equilibrium looks like this. So remember, it's always products over reactants. And here, the coefficients are all 1, so there's no power, it's just 1. And so it's just the hydrogen ion concentration times the fluoride ion concentration over the concentration of hydrofluoric acid at equilibrium. Now, really, the only thing you guys need to know about Ka's at this point is that the larger, the bigger the Ka is, the larger the number, the stronger the acid. So larger Ka means a stronger acid. These are all weak acids, but, you know, they're relatively speaking. We can have stronger acids and weaker acids that we still classify as, in general, weak acids. So just remember, the bigger Ka is, the stronger the acid, and the smaller Ka is, the weaker the acid. So for example... Let's say we're comparing two acids, nitrous acid, HNO2, whose Ka is, and you, the only way you'd know this, by the way, is somebody told you or you looked it up. You don't have to know any of these numbers. Ka, it, it just ends up that for nitrous acid, Ka is 4.5 times 10 to the minus fourth. Now, hydrocyanic acid, its Ka is 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10th. Well, which is a stronger acid? Nitrous acid is because 4.5 times 10 to the minus fourth is a bigger number than 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10. Right? So this is going to have a pH between 4 and 5. This will have a pH between 10 and 11. Right? So, this, so this is a stronger acid. That's what you need to know. 